Hello, my name is Kelly Martin, and I teach English at the Plano campus, formerly Spring Creek campus. And today I am going to share with you a little bit about Top Hat's settings test tools. And so like Canvas, Top Hat uses the term test to refer to any form of assessment. And what is also unique about Top Hat tests, assessments, quizzes, uh, whichever term you want to use, is that they can be proctored to, of course, an extent. And so I'm going to go over these settings, what the proctor report is, what hand back means. Start test is pretty self-explanatory, but I will, of course, cover that. And then the settings, export PDF, which is self-explanatory, edit, which is also obvious, and of course, delete, which is in turn obvious as well. So let's get started with the proctor report. We're just going to go in order here. So briefly, I've created my test, or my assessment, I should say, commas, quiz number one. And for our purposes, I've just added two questions. One being a multiple choice question. And again, I just added two choices. You will probably want to add at least a third option choice. And my second question is a, or what Top Hat considers a long answer question, which is more like a paragraph or a few paragraphs answer that has to be graded as one can obviously see, I know I've used that term already a lot, um, manually, has to be graded manually. And over here in my table of contents is my assessment right here. You will notice this is white. The icon, I should say, is white. And that's because I have not started my test. But going backwards from Proctor Report, this is basically where you as an instructor can view the student's activity. If they clicked away from the test, in terms of navigated away from the test, as in opened up another web page, it will, uh, the proctor report will show you that if the students have started the quote test assessment, um, we'll use these interchangeably and probably quiz a few times as well. Uh, the proctor report will show you all of that. And I'm just going to briefly click on this because this is actually an express course that just finished the spring semester. And you will see this warning every time, just in case you were in class on site. You don't want to obviously pull up students' information in front of them on the overhead projector. But I'm going to go ahead and click, just like I said, real quickly, to show you this yes show student information and you will see under irregular behavior no unusual activity unusual activity if that were the case status in a because again i was I haven't assigned this test yet but this would report normally as in progress not started not completed or incomplete if it's after the due date or if the student did not obviously complete the test or assessment, quiz, whatnot. And that is basically the Proctor Report. And you can go in and click on each student's name and view further details. And it's as simple as that. Hand back. This is if you have started the test and it has completed and one or two students or a few students for some reason had um, technical difficulties or traveling in a town, whatnot, you could almost as you can with Canvas assignments, you can reassign the test to those particular students. So we'll just go ahead and click here. And under all students, I can select which students. It will just pull up my list of students there. And I would select the two or the three or just the one student starting now until the end date. So obviously these are the dates that they still can retake or take the test. 
And then obviously once I select that information, I just click and back and those students have access to it. Start test is very simple. I'm gonna click here. This identifier will pop up for students to enter on their end. Once they have logged in and click on the test icon in the table of content, so to speak, and you'll notice now it is red. Test is now in progress, minimize, or you can view the proctor reports again from here. So we are just going to minimize this and you will now see the unique test code here and in the previous um, highlighted area that I just showed you, who all students. And so I'm gonna go ahead and end the test now. And you will see over here that the icon changes back to white or to quote normal, not assigned at this point. Settings, this is where the proctor report and the settings coincide. So I have my title, live in-class proctoring. This also works for remote proctoring. And students will be locked out after leaving the test for more than, I change this to zero seconds. And students will be locked out if they attempt to leave the test for more than, again, I select zero departures. The students will be locked out if they take a screenshot. Now, here's the caveat, as you can see in the little side, well, let me highlight it and click on it. Most students will not be able to take a screenshot of the test using a Mac or a mobile device with our built-in detection capability. Screenshots are only possible on Windows computers, which a lot of students use Windows computers, so, or desktops. So that's just something to keep in mind. Randomization will randomize the actual questions for students. And I always select that and click confirm. And now my proctoring settings are set. Export PDF, as I said earlier, um, is just as it is labeled. You can export the assessment as a PDF file, save it. Um, this is also a great backup, or if a student needs um, accommodations, this is another way to work around or with the accommodations, excuse me. Edit, if I wanna change a question, I can click on edit, I can export a question to a, a pre-quiz or a pre-test or a practice test, or of course I can delete the question Click save, click close. I, of course, I didn't make any changes, but if I had, they would have been saved. And delete, if you want to just totally delete what you started. And then within each question, in this case, show correct answer. So in, um, I don't think I actually have anything set here, but show responses. Again, I don't have any responses because no one's actually taken this example assessment. And up here, just real quick, this is where you would enter the exam quiz assessment instructions. You simply click edit. If you wanna add another line or add a question up here or an image, you wanna bring in a question from a QTI file or from another part of your course, you do that here or a table. And down here, I am. you just click, but we'll pretend that's not there. So right here, I'm gonna click insert. I'm gonna add a question, numeric answer, add the appropriate information, tolerance, et cetera. And you can read all that information on your own. But if I want to add some instructions, I just start typing. These are the instructions. And one final point that I want to make is because 
these tests are proctored again to an extent. I'm just going to close that. I'm not going to save my changes. This card changes. I would be upfront with students that you are using the proctored features and what those features are, because obviously transparency is always a best practice and best teaching principle. And the more information that students have, obviously the more empowered they are. And quite frankly, the less emails and complaints you may get from students. So I didn't, you didn't tell me I could have clicked away and the like. So uh, just keep that in mind. And I hope you use Top Hat tests and find it's uh, very easy to use and intuitive and accessible for you and your students. Thank you.